When I was doing the research of Forgotten Women, it was an impossible task to try and narrow it down to 48 people to put into the books. And you know, you come across so many incredible stories, but the ones that I have picked, I think say something really important and vital and meaningful about the times we live in. Before Barack Obama, before Hillary Clinton, there was Shelley Chisholm, who was the first black woman to enter Congress. She was also the first black woman to run for president on the Democratic ticket. She didn't win, she didn't make it as a Democratic candidate for presidency, but she tried. She knew that someone had to be the first person to do it, the first black person, the first woman, and I think there's something incredibly admirable about what she did because she tried knowing that she may not succeed but that she would knock down the doors for other people and we see that because history proved her right because Barack Obama became president because Hillary Clinton became the first woman to run for presidency so in a way all their successes are down to this one woman whom not very many people know about. For Forgotten Women the Scientists it was really difficult to pick the number of women who would go in we eventually ended up settling and we applied this to the rest of the book series for 48 women, which is the exact number of women who have won the Nobel Prize so far. Um, obviously, women have been completely barred from scientific institutions and universities for most of history. So you have people like the Harvard computers who were a group of women who literally sat down and mapped the stars. They discovered nebulas, they discovered galaxies, they mapped out a classification system that defines and continues to define what we call the stars today. But they were also known as Pickering's Harem, named after the man who hired them because for some reason people thought that a group of women working under a man had to be named something demeaning. But these women were amazing because their system, which they came up with themselves to classify the stars, is one that we continue to use today. So when you look up at the night sky, you can know that the way that we name and classify stars was actually come up with by women, which is amazing and not enough people know that. Octopus approached me to write these books because of my work as a journalist, as the editor of Broadly, which is Vice's female channel. And when they asked me, they were interested in something to do with women's history. And I obviously leapt at the chance because I find it so great and such a passion project to be able to unearth these little known stories about women who made incredible contributions to society, to our times, but whom not enough people talk about.